Hi folks, it's Woods Spirity here, and of course we have the other side, as we are have, it's happy to have you back here, it's Tyler Beats. And right out of this next guy, of round two, we're ready to start things off with only two guys in games two, as we're ready to have the next one in battle. First matchup, we start with Miami Heat, and they are facing against the Cleveland Cavaliers. The last one was Miami Heat. They won that game, and they beat over against the Cleveland Cavaliers in the start of the first game in the second round. But this time, will the Cavaliers tie this series up, or will the Kate advance this up with a road trip two wins in a row, beating over the Cleveland Cavaliers? It might be a possible enough, and could be an answer back right in between. For the starting groups to be done, we have it across from the other side. We have his Rogier the third with Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, and then Heyman Hyde Smith and Bam Adebayo right toward the center. And the other side, we have it across is Darius Garland with Donovan Mitchell. Evan Mobley is with Max Schuess and Jared Allen's in the center. Now it's time to send you off to Cleveland, Ohio. Standing by, I have it across is Terry Crews, and he's also a long list of other commentators as well. We also have his son of beast, and finally the third commentary of the crew. Now all calls for the stand, here for Cool Beats. And it will be Ali LaForce standing in for the sideline. I'll be back with the post game show with Tyler Beats. That's right. See you all there, everybody. This is going to be a one another match up here. It's another one to tear or face the win for the Miami Heat. Let's put the show on a roll. Let's bring him on. It's going to be an hour great night. Everyone's going to be a complaint in, and this one is all going to be exciting. The starting group, and here's Garland, now finds Mobley again to knock down to Mitchell. Mitchell now finds it over to Mobley. Mobley has it over now back to Garland. Four to shoot. The step up for two. This one misses the target. Bam on the with his first rebound. Here's Miami. They'll start things over and Jimmy Butler will have it. We're running the yard. That shot doesn't hit off the target in. Garland has the ball on Tyler Hero, watching screen. Looking over, here's Mitchell. Mitchell moves across to Jared Allen for two. The layup will scoop it in after Mitchell with the assist. That's going to start things off for, for Donovan Mitchell to have that one on a great target angle. You know, that one is a hard one to beat, but play it right until you get that right. Here's first here to third. Three-pointer will tip it back in for Bam Adebayo. He has his first bucket of the night. 
after a miss puts up here by Terry Rogia. Now that one's gonna happen. We really are making this in a lot of hard chances now. They gotta play it really well, they gotta have it all the day and range down. They have nowhere to stop, but that's what they all do. Keep it in there. The right timing. The pass now, Piney Mobley. Find the shoot. Here's a, here's a double arm. A rebound puts for Donovan Mitchell. The three for Darling. And it's off the rim. Rebound by Mobley. Max shoots on the outside, trying to have another open look. Six to shoot. Mobley's got to get moving. Here's a three for Mitchell. And it will start the three. That one puts it up on a roll for Donovan Mitchell. That's his first bucket. Take it in here for Donovan Mitchell, the DM showing crowd. Wild response has to be the one that he has to go with. Because of that point, if he has nowhere to go, take the three-pointers instead. They are really are trying to work it off. It's sure is off to Mitchell. Oh, wow! That's when you know Donovan Mitchell makes a slam down. An easy one taken. I never noticed how that happened. Donovan Mitchell? He's like the best on the superstar player of the team. Miami drawing by five. Butler's on shoots. The screen picked up with the two, and he will take the double pointer in. Jimmy Butler's got his first bucket in the range with 5.22 to go. There he is, Garland. Now finds it again to Evan Mobley. The pass now finding shoots. Shoots trying to get it over again to Mobley for a two. This one misses on the bio with the rebound. Rozier finds the pass to Hero, off to Highsmith, and he will take the layup in. Hero's got his first assist of the night, which under five days to go. Now that pass up is not going to take all that easy, but what it is, they really have to make up and stop it down. You have got to have a little way to take it over. And it's nothing but you're going to take a lot of it, a lot of chance. It's what they all have to do, keep it in here at the right timing. The pass now finds Garland. Here's a three for Mobley. That doesn't hit off the art angle. And here's Butler. Butler towards the outside, trying to have a screen over. Over now, to the bang on the bio. What a great dunk. That's Jimmy Butler with his first, first assist of the night. Over now, to Allen. Gets it over again, now finds Garland. The three-pointer for Mitchell. Takes it from the outside, makes it in. Great start here for the Cavaliers, the first time that call by Miami. They really wanted to start that over again. How did that happen? Well, no way they can ever answer that. And another game that will be happening under, on the other side of it will be the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. Keep your eyes peeled as game three is underway for the Leafs and the Bruins. That'll be the next game as both teams are tied up with one in the series. At this point, all that good does happen to say, he's looking for another great look of an opportunity range to beat over from the teeth in game two. Jonathan Mitchell trying to work his way over, and he'll have to find out if he gets there. Well, there might be uh, one change-up. I know Jonathan Mitchell. He's, a, he's like a superstar. Playing for everyone's ability game. After making the draft right now, Jonathan Mitchell after playing with the Utah Jazz, it's ultimately, it's been a great of uh, achievements to achieve the goals. And taking over is just not always easy when you take off to a limit of the scores. Keeping it possible though, it's not always easy when you try to keep that one in there. But that changes all. It's got to be what they all expect now. And they really are making this one a lot of great chances out there. Got to have it all pushing in there and then keep it on flowing. Yeah, I have agree with over here with uh, Cool Beast. Got to know for DM, and they all need to have that crowd, big favorite to have it louder and response. Tyler Hero will have the ball as they're trailing by two. Trying to work his way across, screen for Anabaya. Wolves it out, finds a pass. Anabaya for two. That one misses off the target. Shoots with his first rebound of the night. Now we'll have it over to Evan Mobley. Mobley. Off the screws, taking a triple three. Misses the target right outside. Good chance here, but no extension lead cutting in. And here's Hero. Driving step, it's good. He has his first bucket, tied up with 10. 
Just really have to be here. That Tyler Hero wants to have another uh, good responsibility. That effort is not playing in there at the right straightaway targets. Struis finds again to Jared Allen. Allen up. Solid performance for Bam on the bio. Another rebound here. Now it's back and over again to Tyler Hero. Hero. Look this way across. This one's missed. Kevin Mobley now finds it over to Donovan Mitchell. And here's Struis. Up to Allen for the shot. In for the layup. Matt Struis with the assist. That'll be his second bucket of the night. Appearances that Jared Allen is never to be losing out with anybody that can definitely bring it out. It's all that happens. Got to play in there smart, and you got to have that one with a great, uh, great look of a uh, offense below. You got to have that one with a number of good changes and keep it in there on a strong pace. The Cavs and the Heat are tied by 12. Here's Mitchell. Mitchell now finds Evan Mobley for the triple. Three. Oh, Rochita Purr down finds Anabaya. Tries his work his way across. The step back. Over to Hero. Two back again to Butler with 32 minutes. Here's a takeover. Watches in. Anabaya for three. This one ranges in good. First three pointer for Bam Anabaya after Butler with the assist. Great strong pass over. Passing to Bam on the bio was not even always hard to make the three-pointer. But he made that one easy. He got that first three-pointer done. The pass over to Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell trying to work his way across the yard. Finding Mobley. Mobley gives it again to Mitchell. Mitchell on a side step two. Thinks it in. That'll be his 10 points in the game. It's 17 to 15 score. Just really need to keep it in there for Donovan Mitchell. Timeout call by Miami Heat. With under 90 seconds in the first, it's a 17 15 score. Always got to note that Roden, they really are pushing it in there. But keeping it in there that time is not what you do, it's how you want it to start and end the first quarter. It's too early to end that one here for the party win. If you already watched the BFDIA episode 12, you may have mentioned it before. If you watch it on Jack and Jellyby, we are about to have that collab. Thanks to Kevin McLeod, he made this one a lot of a great chance, and he definitely worked it up with the partner here, giving a good, good look at the angle, and was a better sweep than ever. It's great enough to have that one in there with amazing effort. They all love it because the new episode was during the events. As you already know, they are coming soon for the ever side of it. Keep your eyes peeled if you subscribe to Jack and Jellyby. That way, you'll have a ton of notifications and some updates. And if you already got some tickets here, be sure to head this one down as they're reviewing the next episode, BFTI TPOT Episode 11. And the other side is in Anime Sanity, and it's back for Season 2. It's a couple tickets are left, and there's not a lot much time left, so get yours before they're gone. Now with some new substitutions on a sword on the angle for the Heat and the Cavs. Four players have checked out. That's right. Along with Takis Jr. and Jovic, Robinson, and Elon Wright are checked in. The Cavaliers are making new changes. Lavera, Coro, Niang, Ty Thompson are checked in for four players. And that'll be Robinson with his first three-pointer. Just gonna have to start that one over here for Mitch to Duncan Robinson. Gotta make that one a little bit of hard work. George Niang now finds it over to Isaac Okoro. He looks it over to Lavera. What a drive in! Reverse with his first bucket. Now that one doesn't stand alone now because that takes it with a one hand drive, smoke it in. I just really like Karis Levert. That would soon be great. And better than that, and you're really going to start things off with a great look of its appearances. Take it over as you can. Hawkins Jr. passes to Anabaya. It's loose! It's been touched by Tristan Thompson. His first rejection. And there he is curling with the drive. That must have happened already because Tristan Thompson, he got a piece of it. A little bit. Not that a lot on Bam on a bio, but that's where he just got that one coming in. That one was a close one to get. 
if he makes another bucket. But great stop here for Tristan Thompson. That's his first rejection of the night. Garland with the ball, down to 10 seconds. With a double screen, watching in. There he is, Garland. Trying to find it with a two. And it's off the rim. That ends the first quarter. 21 20 is a close game. A little bit of a back to back weave here, but this time only one rejection, one down. Three quarters left, and we'll get to the second quarter coming up after this. For those of you joining in, we will get the second quarter coming in action. It's a tight game between Cleveland and Miami. Let's have your take, guys. Well, this one may have to be all clearable enough to get that one to spray it down. It's not what they're all expecting because they were really noticing how did they play really well. Not the bar where they do make a pick here, but that was just no hot topics here to start being so over. Yeah, I'm pretty bad at it, but I don't know if this will happen again, but they may be one for the start of the second quarter. Morrell was with the bird. Me on it with the bird up, and the center of it is Tristan Thompson. Start things over for the second quarter is Thompson. He has it now over again to Sam Morrell. Over now to LeBrick. LeBrick trying to make his way across now, finding the pass over again. Tied to the court. This over again to Thompson. The three for Morrell. That one starts in for the bench points. Sam Morrell with his first three pointer. They were up by two. Back to back switch already. Gotta keep it rolling. Robinson. Stolen. Richardson, no pass here. Now find Thompson. Here comes a Coro. Around the back. And he makes it in. He has his first bucket of the net. And Tristan Thompson with the assist. Oh man, they can believe now. I mean, they're playing a little bit, not too much aggressive right now. But they're hoping to find another way if they can get there. The pass. Now finds Bam on a bio. The pass. It's stolen. Here comes the Coro. On a full breakdown. Booyah! That one will play for a throwdown. That's his second bucket. And Sam Morrell with the assist. Well, that happened to be a bad changing over, bad communication here. They're not picking it up already. They gotta find another way to do this. If they don't have it, then that's a big problem then. Richardson's coming up by Morrell. The screen puts in for Bam on the line. Here's a two. That misses again. George Niang has his first rebound of the night. Now finds it over again to LeBert. LeBert gives it again to Sam Morrell and George Niang. Looks it over now to Thompson. Great T here by Anabaya. We just hit with the ball. Robinson's got the ball. Anabaya right toward the wing. Up for two. That misses again in the center of the court. Levert finds it again to George Niang. Now finds it again to Isaac Okura. Keeping the play alive, he brings it back over again to Levert. Levert swings again to Niang. Over now to Isaac Okura. The layup in, it's good. Isaac Okura with three points in the game. That's six in a row. And Niang with the assist. You know what the problem is? A better one to take over. How about that one? It's going to be great. Turning in for some better chances now. They really are doing a great ones here. Not happy enough at all for the Heat, but they're all happy enough for the Cavaliers to have a tied up. Hopefully, we'll see what they can do. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a great one here. Reporter from Valley the Force. He talked to one of his better, uh, the players in between as a ton of Mitchell. He had this one an all star pay of his performance effort. He has a lot of quotes things to say. My team does it all. I have nowhere else to be playing in for. But that. He needs to have a lot of a great technician to keep it in. He plays for Michael Jordan, but he sometimes wants to trade some jerseys in. That's because of what he wants to do. He wants to change it up again. Well, it's definitely what they can definitely uh, do now. Change it up. Did you sound a little bit low? I mean, you just have to, uh, you just have a lot of pair of things to talk about in, in, in this way. I mean, just give and go what you think. Time out call by Miami Heat with 437 left to go. And if you're all tuning in for a new skit of the uh, SOB skit, we have a new one to take over. It's the truth. 
that's how many here on July 29th. At the end of the month, if not, then there will be an early changeover to reschedule it for now. And there's no other way that they can never try to attend it, and this might be a different change to have it in for And it's that moment to have a naked bride. Just do what you can definitely do. I mean, play that one, but you never mean it. And that's really all I was expecting then, to play it in for well, and just go for a plan. And for the truth is, it's going to be an every takeover. It's going to be Southern Beast and Sweet Beast. It's going to be right into those two. And hey, I'm definitely going to be acting a part of it. I know a lot of it well. Mm, I'm sure you do, because if that happens now, I mean, just go with the fact. Have that quote right. Some new changes for the Heat and the Cavaliers. And now it's a new change of hand. Jared Allen's back on the court. Jovic moves over into the center. It's Butler and Martin and Terry Rozier are checked in. Here's Butler and he's fouled. That is his first personal and a first team foul for Cleveland. The 4 3 2 go. Now you're not playing him well enough because of Evan Mobley, you don't do deserve. You don't take that smack out of it. That had to be Jimmy Butler to brace inbound and have that one go in. That's not going to take some time in there, but don't let them get pressured in. First in the free throw line will be Jimmy Butler for the Miami Heat with 4-3-2 to go in the first half. It's the first free throw. You can say it about Jimmy Butler. He's just been playing it all hardest inbound. Whatever you can expect is, is all that you can imagine it for him. Well, I know Jimmy Butler has been really trying to take some, a lot of his pressuring on it to the max. But what you can't do is, when you think of Jimmy Butler, you got to play uh, like in the right way, and you got to play really well to have it in there. It's just not turning to be like what they all expected of Jimmy Butler. I mean, he's really like a legendary. you got to give credit to him. Everyone has been always complaining that, why is Jimmy not good? Well, <laughs> he's the master. Well, don't have to be a master anyway, but that is what you can always expect now. He's on the hot hands. Levert for three. That misses again. Jimmy Butler with another rebound with 4.09 to go in the first half. Rozier to third, slides it back. Passes now to Rozier and now to Martin. Here's a cut and bound. Passes over. Rozier, Thompson for three. That misses again. Levert with two rebounds in the eight. Passes down to Mobley. On the try, loses the ball, and stolen by Rozier. Here comes the take for Butler. Great D by Max Schroots. Mobley's got his third rebound. Have it over now, find it over, and he went badly bound out again. It's a backcourt violation, and they take their possession for the heat. Now it's Heisman checking in for Robinson. And it's Kiro checking in for Jovic. Kiro with the ball for three. Nothing inbound. Allen with his third rebound. Back to Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell tries to give it over again to Mobley. Mobley. The bounce pass now finds Levert. Up and around. He makes it in. Levert's got seven points in the game. Just really have to do that. I mean, just give a good bounce pass. I mean, take it in there. I mean, just don't take on their defense. Nice man. Here's Hero for three. And it goes with a loose ball foul on Kelly Martin. That'll be his first push, though, with 3 0 1 to go. That was never going to happen now. I mean, if he makes a three, that would have been like unbelievable. But that foul, that cheese is over. Can't let that one go back into it. And Mitchell now finding a pass to Strews. After a steal, here's Butler. He now finds Rogia. Mitchell on it. Finds Hira. Almost loses the ball. The two. Takes it in. That's Tyler Hero with another two pointer. Easy said and done for Tyler Hero. Been playing like a, a leg to get in there. Mitchell finds the work. Levert gives it over, now finding it over on the passing angle, back again to Mitchell. Pass is over. Here's Mobley for three. Enormous. Backing over. They got a rebound here, and Allen. 
Ball snipped, and the last touch will be Kelly Parton. The Cavaliers will keep their possession alive at 2.15 to go. And now it's Darius Sterling turning in for Karis LeBurn. Just have to go back to the starting lineup in the group. Just don't take up with too, too much out there. And here's Allen. Over to Adam Mitchell for the two, and he's fouled. Tyler Hero with his first first ball and a first team foul called on Miami. Two twelve to go in the first half. You play it like you did right now after Jared Allen, you have that pass in there. That's just nowhere. How did he get there close to the rim? That attacking is not going to turn it out easy enough for him. For Donovan Mitchell to score, that's what he is trying to do, but don't let that one get into it in this way. That's going to take a lot of invading the shot. First free throw coming up for Donovan Mitchell and the first trip for Cavaliers. It's the first free throw. You always call the nickname, it's Spider, but that was his first one he's been taking over it. And Donovan Mitchell, but his dad, has to be one of the, one of the better ways that he has ever been informed of. It's not what you always expect, but the easier life it does here with Mitchell, that, that was the part of it for his first part of it, the senior of his dad. He knows he has a lot of posting to say about this. I train hard. This is what my dedication is. But they don't expect me to play it for all the ages. It doesn't happen to most of them, but they have to believe on what you played for. I know Donovan Mitchell has an end. Do you think this will happen if he gets more on his career points? He'll be that proud? Yes, I'm sure he will. I'm pretty sure that is what they always expect now. Donovan Mitchell has been really like calling Spider for a name, but that's what I always think of it. He's playing it really hard. I mean, dedication is always his life. But that's what he played for with Louisville for a great play in the a game, a game for each conference. That's part of it that he played for his ACC conference tournament that he has done for. The three for Morgan. That misses again. Under two minutes remaining. 37 28 is a score for Cleveland. There is Garland now playing Mobley. Here's a depth for three. It goes in. Another three pointer for Cavaliers. And Mobley at six. Oh, just need to get that one out. Mobley just had it in there. Just keep it going. Butler with the ball, now find Rozier. Cross the angle, here's high speed for three. That takes the triple over the outside. It's now a 40 to 31 game. Under a minute to go, here's Garland. Passes down to Jarrett Allen. Allen now finds Strews. Strews up with the two. That one takes it in. He has his first bucket in the game two. Just really need to play in there with all the time angle. It may not be what you are expecting to play for that shoes, but do for all you can. The try, no good. Coming up will be the halftime show. That will be on its way. That's going to be a jet skip. And we have it along. It's Ernie Johnson, Shy. Ready to have its way. And I'll be up underway shortly after this. Here's Strews for three. Oh, he just never saw that coming. He makes the first three-pointer. It's now 45-31. Here's Butler with the shot. Mobley would denies it. Hero finds it high spin. Here's another one for Butler. Down to five. A chance for two. Miss it. Balance the first half. 45 31 to score. Great start here for Cleveland, but Miami might be taking it back for here. That's the end of the first half. Halftime shows on. See you all later after this. Let's have a look at the first uh, the first half of the statistics. Great start for Donovan Mitchell. He's on a fire range. He takes it all of it and plays it in bounds. Ever played it before like you've done. They are streaking it in. The first quarter was even, but now. This came in to a stender lead for the Cavaliers up again. Start off with you there, Luke for the Cavaliers. 
played for the hard one in dance. Ever since happening, they played it so well and tough. And how about you, Tyler, for Miami? Well, it's not going to be easy enough to play it for enough. But we'll hopefully we'll get to see how they can do if they can close that game up. But that being said, let's put it in now. And that is it. Halftime show is over. Let's take you back onto the court, guys. And we're happy enough to have you back here in at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. We're ready to start the third quarter. All saves for Donovan Mitchell. He's been a star out there for a start of the first half. He's been playing it well. Ever since then, you've got a goal goal. The spider one. Yeah, I know Spider, it does happen all. Playing in for all of his career, he might have another way to have it leveled up. Let's see what he can do if he can try to have it all. Let's start for the third quarter. That's right now, this one will start things over here. Now for Miami with Terry Bergier. Tyler Hero, he's on a shooting guard with Jimmy Butler. Then it's Heisman for the point four, and on a bio in the center. Here's Garland, now finds it over to Mitchell. For the triple! In the yard, no good. Mobley finds it again to Mitchell. Looks to pass to Darius Garland. Up and floater, it takes it in. What a shot for Darius Garland. He has his second bucket. Just played it well enough for Darius Garland. Had a point guard coming in, but playing action, no one can be in between by many. Goes here with a number two pointer. 47-35 to score. Coming in to get a close, close game in the quarter. Garland finds the pass to Mitchell. Mitchell swings it over, now finding Mobley. The bounce pass now finds it over. The pass is almost broken up. Here's a three. Mitchell misses again. Down on the line with another rebound, finding Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler working his way across the bend on a bio, and he makes a shot. A Butler is getting another assist here as he's putting up a number two pointer. Just keep it in here. I mean, they're really trying to tie that one up. For sure. And he's saying, it's what they all expect now. Get him on the bio, and let that one rip you out. Here's a narrow pass here for Donovan Mitchell. The pass over now again to Mobley. Rolls it in for two. That's off the rim, and it's rebounded by Bam on the bio. Baller on the full attack. Good for the number two. They're down by eight. Moving quickly right now, and they need to have another way to get in there. Well, they gotta have it all in there. You gotta play it that smart, but that is another defensive breakdown. They don't want to have it another, like, turnovers in between. You've got to play it smart. Don't let that happen to get you covered in there if another one breakdown comes in. Here's Truce, four to two. And that's missed again. Over the backboard almost, but completely went out of bounds. Here's Hero, and the floater makes an A. They're rolling it down, and they're up down by six. Just gotta do what you do. Tyler Hero, unstoppable, brings it on. Jared Allen, it's stolen by Anabaya. And here's Hero with a shot, and he does it again, and they're down by four. Oh man, everybody's having the breakdowns in between. Tyler Hero wanted to tie that game for Donovan Mitchell, but he can't let that one get by him. Mitchell sliding the court across. Mobley up for two. What a tough shot! And he makes it in there as another two pointer comes in for the Cavaliers. Timeout ball by Miami. Under five minutes already, and they're expecting him out. They've got to like, keep on doing it. They do it. I can't believe it. They're just going to keep on with the shots. But that is what they all expect now. They can't get alive out there and just saying that we're not done here yet. We play it like we're all in here together. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports for the second round is brought to you by. G5G. Connecting changes everything. Sour Batch Kids. Sour, sweet, gone. And by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Now, Bam on the bio is 
bring another players on the court. As Hockey Sheehan is checked on the court. And Elon Rice on the court with Duncan Robinson. And for the Cavaliers, as Karis the first checked back on the court, along with the other two, Okoro Nia and Thompson. The three-pointer came at the mark for Duncan Robinson. Oh man, he's like, they're already like losing their control. But they cannot be like letting it go in if they're trying to find another solution to tie this up or keep it a close game in between. Mitchell. Oh, and now Robinson for three gets missed again. And Garland has it over now to Isaac Cora. Here's a straight jab. Oh, that is a hard contact out there. Duncan Robinson with his first. And another team foul for Miami. Well, this is going to keep on coming in there for, you know, uh, Isaac Okoro, because he's almost going to get that one slapped out of here. That one's almost going to be not good at all. Free throw coming up here for Isaac Okoro with 419 to go. He makes the first free throw. When you make that one in there, playing it for Auburn, that's his favorite in professional plays of his game. All I have to say for now, I mean, after playing it for once event, he gets done for many. All for it being said, playing of his career, he's just definitely in, in between. And his better champion, he is definitely brought the team, all freshman team and all defenseman team for Southeastern Conference. And he's been playing it for a part of the league ever since then. When you play it for it on once. I know his, his application, he is trying to stay active out there, playing it for a real lifetime. Now he finds Isaac Okura. The pass over now finds it again to Thompson. It's a two. Another six puts in for Cavaliers. As he puts up another six. Thompson's got his first bucket in the range. Ever playing it so quiet out there. I mean, now he's got the fuck of it. But Tristan Thompson has it all in between. And he's going to have to take all of it when you have it aimed down. Inboardable? Had no problem at all. 55 45 to score. Back down by 10. Gilbert gets to Niang. Niang finds the pass to Tristan Thompson. Solid and Ben Florence gives it back. And it's a no good on the second try in this rebound. Mobley, wheel on right over to Butler. Missed the three on the outside. That's another miss by Miami. Oh man, I don't, I don't know what they were doing. Jimmy Butler was almost going to make the three, but something did not quite go right. That shooting time wisely. Got to have it in there. There's another way to get through it and have that points bucket in. Which he He's in the free throw line. Passing behind the line, he makes it in. George Nye, he's got his first bucket. We're nearing a 2.30 mark in the, in the third. And here's another take for Butler. Robinson now finding Butler again. Passes off to Adebayo. Adebayo, here's a three for Wright. And he takes it in for the triple range in the corner. 57 to 48 to score. Timeout, Cleveland Cavaliers. We'll take some side breaks here. Under 2.30 to go in the third quarter. Just playing it in there, that D-Lon right had that three. Have an answer streak. Keep that one aside. Play it hard, play it smart. Bring out that one coming in there faster and smarter way to get there. New group competitions are on the court. More seniors shut in from the Cleveland Cavaliers. Aka Shooter and Jimmy Butler are making some new changes on here. And it's right now Martin makes a new change up. On the other side now is Lewis LeBron. Over now, he's in the chorus for two. Takes it in for another two-point range. He has ten points. You know what they could say for all defensive men and all offensive men? Playing it in here for a hard one you can take. And LeBron takes a steal. He's on his way down. Looks to pass over to Tristan Thompson. And a three-pointer for Barlin. That was off the rip. Not too much happening, happening out there, but the land needs to have out and clear some space. Clear the halls now. The pass up. Calabar for three, and he will have a dish it in for the triple range. 
It's now 59 51 game. Close game in the range right now. Here's Garland. Now finds again to Justin Thompson. Finds the pass. Now find Garland. Garland gets a swing over. Justin Thompson for two. That misses again. Right with another rebound here with 120 to go. And a shot. Misses again. Royce Senior gives the pass over to Isaac Okura. The pass over to Thompson, takes it in. That's the second bucket of the night. And it's Okura with the assist. Just keeping it out there, there. Everyone's out there just playing it like it's free. All for Justin Thompson, and after assist by Isaac Okura, he played it really well. Got it going, get it done. Three pointer for Martin, and he makes it in. The Cavaliers are making another neat switchover on offense as he will have another motion take. Now he finds the pass to Morris Sr. Morris Sr. trying to have an answer in there. He finds the pass again to Thompson for a shot. That was hard on a release bit as Alabaya with the rebound. Here's right. It's over now to Hawkins Jr. for three. And he takes a triple range. Only for a two with 19 seconds. Coming down the line is Darius LeBrook. Here's Gar Darius Garland. 10 seconds left. LeBrook finds the pass. Now finding more senior. Five to shoot. Got to get some tights in there. And Alabayo. Will he get a buzz beater? And it just got off the backboard. Right into the third quarter. 61 56 to score. Brady and tight even. Well, it's going to be a close call, but hopefully this might be getting there at a full length of time period. And hopefully by then, it'll be finished up, ready to go for a trip to Miami. 61 56 to score, and we'll take a quick break and we'll get back to you right after this. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Fourth quarter underway right now in the 61 56 game. A little bit of a close range in between as the last groups are on the appearance to finish off the regulation. Darius Garland is with Dominic Mitchell. Max Struess back on the court with Evan Mobley. And it's Allen with the assist. Bringing towards the other side here for the Heat. Mojir is with DeLong Wright. Jimmy Butler with Jovic. And Duncan Robinson right towards a very small forward position. Max Struess, what a great shot this is. He now has another bucket. That's seven in a row. Playing it in here for now. That Max Struess may have it in there coming in by. We'll see here on it. The three for right. And it's another miss by Miami. Not playing it where they're supposed to do. They've got to keep it in there what they've got. The pass off to Allen. Gives it over to Struess. Here in the corner of the line, finds the bounce pass again to Struess. Great ball movement for Cavaliers. Allen for the two. That one takes it in. That will be six points of this game. 65-56 game. They're up by ten again. Finding a range. Here's right. One over miss here. Darius Merlin with his first rebound of the night. Now finds it again to Eva Bowley. Tries to pass over again to Garland. He gives it over now to Struess. Sure spins around. Looks it over to Mobley. Mobley, the back stepper for two. That rolls in and out. Robinson will get a rebound as Miami are trying to make a surveillance to have it in. And a reach and foul called on Donovan Mitchell. Number two changeup coming in for the Heat as Tyler Hewitt checked in for Jovic. Here's a three for Robinson. It's good. Making a close range in there. He only had the two pointers that brought knocking in. Just not what you always wanted to do. You just don't play it in there. But you've got to have that one as I call. Here's Struis for two. Misses again. High Smith went on a rebound again to Tyler Hero. Duncan Robinson trying to get the pass over. Hero for three. Misses. Jared Allen with his eighth rebound. Back to Darius Garland. 
And the pass over. Allen for the triple. Kaboom, no. Tyler Hero back the airway. Miami Heat trying to have that one stolen. On the shot, Ron Range is off the rim and back to Evan Mobley. Six rebounds so far, as he now has it over to Darius Garland. Garland swings the pass. Here's out. Big shot. Here's again to Garland. Watching the time go down. Down to five. They need to make some shot quickly. Three for Mitchell. It's good. Range in there. Number two for the Cavaliers is Garland with the assist. We're down to five minutes in the fourth. Playing it like it's a hard one. Now you have the guy on the cover and keeping it in there at the right time he goes. High Smith up, the layup was an end. 67 60 to score. High Smith and Mobley are getting a little bit in between the net battle range in there. And the pass is broken up. Rogier. Work his way across. Here's a three for Hero. And he knocks a splash in the corner in. Under wonder 430 left to go. They're trailing by four. Well they expect that Tyler Hero has it in there. The playing one is not what you do. Hero is just making that win a close game to make the range in successful. And pass to Mitchell. Bounce pass to Allen. And here's Garland for the two. Great pointer! How did he get that one coming? He has nine points. Well, he made it back for his three-pointer line. That's why he had that one shooting at earlier range. Now he had that one close to the men down. They're trying to make that one lose their pressure. They have nowhere to go. They're nowhere to stop. They've got to play it hard. Another three-pointer misses again. And denies the shot. Here comes another pass break game. The better day for two. Another miss by the Cavaliers. Jimmy Butler trying to have it in. Free for Nick for Robinson. No good. And Mobley has it now. Here's Struz. And it's good. Yes. That was a great pass over for Mobley. He has nine points for Struz. Taking range. Here's Butler. Solid performance effort. And the mark. It's denied. I don't think that was an air ball. That must have been a rejection with the piece. Well, I must have said it must be Jared Allen. I mean, I don't know if it is, but hopefully that might have been another great rejection here. I like that call. The pass off to Mobley. Find a shoot. Here's Mitchell for two. And he takes it there. He has 16 points in this game, but under three minutes to spare in the regulation. Timeout call by Miami Heat with only under three minutes to go. 74 63. Just got to stand in there, got to have some love, refueling, hydration, you know, Gatorade, and they got to play in there at the right timing. Well, all sides it goes. Cleveland is rocking in, leaving it out. I mean, he's not playing really well, but that's what you can definitely champ for. And just what you have to go for, keep playing it like you mean it. The NBA playoffs in the second round of E2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers, Movement Dance Fighters. Starry Lines. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And we have some time now to present your New Balance Player of the Game. All for the game. And the game goes to Evan Mobley. Playing in there that is Evan Mobley's time to shine in for the second game. But that wasn't how he did it. That's how you want to finish things up. All the effort as it again. Yeah, it's playing in there right now. I mean, that's what we can always say of a moment. It's not getting in. Another playoff push it down here for game one and game two. And he will be making his way to tie the series up if they win. And now with the reporter for Alley LaForce, 
That's off to Jimmy Cutler about it. He's a little bit disappointed already, but not playing it for long, as you always can definitely have the handle off. He has to have it in there at the right time. You know, you can definitely notice that Jimmy Cutler has that one coming in there. That's what Eric Spolz is trying to do for him. And that one was not only to stay, but keeping it in there. You don't play it for real. I mean, he is definitely disappointed. You gotta have that one, but never take in if he has another one coming down. And it's off for right now for, for John Blair. He's also known as the full name, J.B. Biggerstaff. He simply has been playing it for his head coach. The last time he was here, he was a head coach for Memphis Grizzlies and became the assistant coach for several other NBA teams. And now, he's the head coach. He's been made traded to the next mark and to help his team out being a head coach. And this is what I always expected now for Jamie Biggerstaff. How do you know for long after assistant? I mean, every when you start the assistant coming in now, and with some other uh, coaches getting a little bit like changing things over with the new contracts after they get fired already, they're not they're not gonna be able to help them out of it, and they need to have a narrow chance in there to keep on going. They have to play at it at the right time. Here's Hero, good a layup. He misses again. Two minutes in the regulation period. He now finds Jared Allen. Here's Donna Garland, up for two. Double defenders on him. On the way out now, finding Rogia. Butler on the outside. Expecting to beat the heat. Here's the pass over out of bio, and he misses a shot. And here's Darius Garland. Passes now. It's Hero with the steal. Here he comes. Number two, they said, they're back down by seven with 90 seconds. Oh boy, I think that Tyler Hero might be playing in there. But don't get uncomfortable at that point ever again to have that close shots in. Now the next time I'm called, I give the Cavaliers with 90 seconds remaining, 130 left in the fourth. And that's all I'm for you guys. Uh, Woods, Cooney, and Tyler. What do you guys think about how this game went? While they've been playing it really great, that might be a lot of the great chances in between. But hopefully enough, they may have it in there for a great amount of time and having pressure in. I hope they say so. It might be Cleveland Knights, Cleveland uh, Caps tonight to win game two. But hopefully it's a happy to be the winner. Hopefully by that point, they may have it all in there. And hopefully this will be another great day for another postseason to have that one with another great wins and also celebrate for the night. I'll be seeing you all later this soon, you guys. And the postgame show is underway after this. Thank you guys so much. Couldn't appreciate that with more accomplishment. That's exactly true. Jared Allen now finds a pass to Darius Garland. Garland trying to swing it out a little bit. Shoots for three. That's off again. Jared Allen with the rebound now finding again over down the streets. For another chance, it's blocked by Butler. Here comes Hero with a chance. A solid D for Max Strooks. Playing it for a long with somehow, I mean, he definitely that said that there's no foul, why no shot? Well, he just had that one when he coming in. Jimmy Butler is really trying to mess that up. Can't really believe it that you can play it like that. Passes over to Mobley, and it's stolen by Butler. Butler on a full break. Watching him down. Here's a drive. The shot. Layup, no good. For two, it's good. 77-72 is the score. Need to get some time in there. That's the person that foul has been called on Terry Rogier. The last new substitutions now as Kiro's checked out. And it's Robinson checking back in. And the Cavaliers make a new change offs here as Donovan Mitchell will be checked on the court. And that's a foul. That's where she was for of course, all with 34 seconds. Now he's at the free throw line. This will be their bonus chance to get the fouls over and in for Darius Garland. Of 
first free throw sets in for Darius Garland. Good for second. Miami down by seven. And another three for Donovan Mitchell. That's Judy Butler with the assist. They never really wanted to have that call in there. I don't know what they could say, but now the Cleveland Cavs fans, they're calling it Beat the Heat. Just like the Boston Celtics, they never really wanted to be out there like that. And now the free throw coming back in for Darius Garland with only under 30 seconds in regulation. Four fouls on Terry Rozier. It's the free throw. Coming in to be a closing out with the game. The center will be tying things up. And it will be hey, you head, head on down to South Florida for game three and four. And he makes it number one. Final timeout by Miami Heat. With under 30 seconds remaining. Playing in here. Terry Starling. What do you expect to play for? Your next game coming up we have is the Mavericks facing against the Nuggets back at Mile High. Now the coverage will be starting things at off at 9.30 p.m. in the West Coast in Mountain Region. If you're tuning in for the next part of the game, we'll be happy enough to have you appreciated to stick around for the next game and get right back into the flow. That's what you can definitely hang on now. The land is ours. That's what we all play for. Play for smart. Every day, every game. That's going to wrap it up here, folks. That's all of me, Terry, Terry Cruz, along with Santa Beast and Cool Beast. This has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. Have a great night, and we'll see you all again next time. Peace out, Cleveland fans. All right, thank you so much. That's one of the better games now. Their both teams are tied up with ones in the series. Ever playing it before, now they were really uh, expecting that, that this was a little bit of a close top of a new fight. Here's how they do with the total statistics. They have to be even called for 32 I and 2 out of 2. But this was free throws for 9 out of 100% for Cleveland Cavaliers. Both guys have one of them, but 42 only made three pointers. And 52 for field goals for Cleveland Cavaliers. The other side of it, as the fast break points was only 14, the other one had to be evened up. 34 and 34 on the pint for both teams. Miami Heat only had 7 points in the second chance. But it was bunch points even again for both teams. 31 for Cleveland Cavaliers with 31. But it was offensive rebounds even up for 7. 31 defensive rebounds for Cleveland Cavaliers. Seven steals for Miami Heat. Then it was four blocks in a row. What a shutdown defenseman for Cleveland Cavs. Then it was three turnovers with 11 points off for Miami. Two team fouls for Cleveland. Both guys had received two dunks. Biggest lead, 14 for Cleveland and 18.05 was their time possession for the Cavaliers. They played it really well now. I mean, hopefully by then they're ready to hit the trip. To Miami, and that'll be the next couple games 
underway. Exactly. Now to close things over right now, time for three star plays of the game. The first star starts it over with all that happened now, and it starts things with Bam on a bio. He had three steals, two assists with 12 rebounds, and he only had made 13 points. Six out of ten field goals has made the range, and he just happened to go with 18 performance effort with only two dunks in the game. He played it like it's legit, firing in there like he's a tall man from center. Now for a number two spot, I got another one good feeling here that this one's not going to be easy enough at all. I think that Darius Garland had 13 points with two rebounds, seven assists, four out of ten field goals, one three-pointer, and three three-pointers have already missed. 31 performance effort, that was excellent. Turn like that, the point guards are never going to do the same, but they always expect it now, playing it for real, and longer game it happen. And your number one star goes to Donovan Mitchell. With that one, he played it with only just 16 points, one rebound, four six, six out of eight field goals, two three-pointers with four of them, 24 performance effort, and one dunk. But unfortunately for Evan Mobley, the New Balance player of the game hasn't been ranked in for all that quite so reasons. But guess what how well he did? He just had two blocks in this game. One in this angle and one in the other angle that does it for in between the halves. He done really well, playing great at all costs. The excellent playing the band. Now you can expect for Ever Mobile because he's now walking the line and he will have another time to have a next game coming in. If you enjoy this part of a game, we got your next game coming up as we have as the Nuggets facing against the Mavericks back at Mile High at Bell Arena. But that being mine, peace out folks for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2 Kai Sports. See you all again, everybody on the other side, after this. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.